Mark time. March. Left. Left. Color guard. Hold. Right. Face me. Reverse colors. March. Step. 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 Bridge blend. Colors. Order. Colors. Reverse colors. March. Step. 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 Present colors. And now the playing of the national anthem. Raid Red. Red. Thank you. Once again, welcome to the christening and launching of the passenger very Staff Sergeant Michael H. Olis. We are extremely honored today to have with us our very own governor of the state of Florida, Governor Ron DeSantis. Please join me in welcoming Governor DeSantis. I would also like to recognize the following elected officials, former elected officials, and other city leaders in attendance today. Former Speaker of the Florida House of Representatives, Mr. Alan Bentz. State Senator George Gaynor. State Representative Jay Trumbull, Jr. Mayor Pam Henderson, Mayor of the City of Callaway. Commissioner David Griggs, Callaway City Commission. Mr. Ed Cook, City, of Man City Manager, City of Callaway. And General Mark McQueen, City Manager, City of Panama City. Technical difficulties there. This vessel is named after an American hero that gave his life to protect his fellow soldiers. Staff Sergeant Michael H. Olis lost his life while serving in Afghanistan in 2013. He shielded a Polish officer to protect him from a suicide bomber who was raiding the operating base in Ghanzi. For this selfless act of courage, Michael Olis was posthumously awarded the Silver Star the third highest military decoration for valor. This vessel ba bears Michael's name and will act as a floating memorial to honor his bravery and remind us that freedom does not come free. Today is an exciting day, especially for the employees of Eastern Shipbuilding Group 
and for the citizens of Northwest Florida. The launching of this addi addition to the iconic Staten Island Ferry marks a significant milestone in the recovery of Bay County and Northwest Florida. This vessel stood right where you see it as 160 plus mile an hour winds tore through the area when Hurricane Michael made landfall October 10th, 2018. Many of you may not realize that this shipyard lies only three miles due west of Mexico Beach, ground zero for landfall. This facility saw some of the worst winds that the storm had to offer. Much like the rest of Bay County, this facility and our Nelson Street facility were virtually unrecognizable after the storm. Every building in this facility was heavily damaged or destroyed that day. The shipyard lost its main office building, close to a dozen warehouses, approximately 200 feet of our largest fabrication building, our pipe fab shop, and the list goes on and on. But perhaps the most significant loss came in the form of the exodus of approximately 100 employees that were forced to leave the area when they lost their home. Through the hard work and determination of each and every ESG employee, as well as the support of our families, friends, neighbors, and customers, we have rebuilt this facility in a year's time. We were equally as aggressive when it came to focusing on our most precious resource, our employees. After the storm, ESG quickly organized and executed many programs aimed at supporting our employees. Organizing free on-site meals for our employees daily through our vendor and customer network organizing food and supply drives and turning our remaining warehouses into what looked like a Sam's Club to make these resources available to our employees and their families. Within weeks after the storms, we were back to work on vessels. Within six months, we were back to our pre-storm employment levels. It has been a difficult and trying journey so far, and there is much more work to be done. We have faced these challenges together and will remain committed to making this company and this community better and stronger than it was prior to Hurricane Michael. On behalf of the management of Eastern Shipbuilding Group and the Discernia family, I would like to sincerely thank all of our employees for their hard work and dedication. I remain inspired by your tenacity, grit, and determination and I'm excited about what the future might bring, knowing that we are in this together. It is now my distinct honor to introduce our main speaker, Governor Ron DeSantis. He has been an unwavering supporter and advocate for the recovery of Northwest Florida post Hurricane Michael. And today's launch represents a huge milestone in the recovery of our area that could not have been achieved without the governor's support. Thank you very much for being here with us today, Governor DeSantis. Your presence at today's launch means a great deal to our shipyard and to our community. Please give another warm Bay County welcome to the governor of the great state of Florida, Governor Ron DeSantis. Thank you. Well, it's great to be here. I think it's really great that we're honored that we're going to be christening a ship that is um, named after an American hero. If you look at Staff Sergeant and Olis, uh, what he did, if you read the description, uh, he basically put his life um, on the line to save other people. And uh, had he not done that, he probably would have personally survived, but the uh, people he was fighting with would have uh, probably re uh, met their ma maker. So that is hero heroism. And I think it's a fitting that we can recognize an American hero in a great military community like Northwest Florida, because I know the people here honor our veterans and honor those particularly who make the ultimate sacrifice. And I also think it's great to be here because, uh, as was mentioned, this uh, community is coming back. 
Obviously, a lot of people here have worked uh, very hard from right after the storm all the way up to the present day. We've worked very hard. It's been a priority for our administration uh, to help in those recovery efforts. But I think when this ship is christened, now that's a signal that this place is humming right here. And we obviously know there's other things with Coast Guard and stuff down the road. So I think it's a great day. Um, this is a um, really neat ship. It's going to be uh, part of an iconic ferry up in New York City with Staten Island. And so my hat's off to Eastern Shipbuilding for, for getting it done, for bouncing back. And thanks uh, to all those who made it happen. you got a great workforce here. People work very hard, and they do a very, very good job. And it's really a credit not just to Northwest Florida, but to the entire state of Florida. So thank you all. It's an honor to be here. God bless everybody. Thank you. Thank you, thank you Governor. Uh, and now uh, we will ask uh, Father Luke uh, from St. Dominic's. Catholic Church to uh, perform the blessing of the vessel. Thank you. At the beginning of creation, your spirit hovered over the deep. You called forth every creature and the seas teemed with life. Through your son, Jesus Christ, you have given us the rich harvest of salvation. Bless this boat, its equipment, and all who will use it. Protect them from the dangers of wind and rain, and all the perils of the deep. May Christ, who calmed the storm and filled the nets of his disciples, bring us all to the harbor of light and peace. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you, Father Luke. Uh, our, our vessel sponsor today is Ms. Rebecca Winpigler. Rebecca is the wife of ESG's very own Kenny Winpigler, who, who we affectionately refer to as Kenny Pig. Kenny Winpigler holds the distinction of having delivered the highest number of vessels as a project manager of anyone here at Eastern Shipbuilding. In fact, Kenny is the former project manager of this very vessel. Everyone at Eastern Shipbuilding and throughout the marine industries knows Kenny as a capable, professional, and dedicated shipbuilder. Through his calm and even-keeled approach to project management, he fostered long-lasting relationships with all those who have had the pleasure of working with him. I personally consider Kenny Pig as not only a co-worker and friend, but as a mentor. And now the vessel sponsor, Ms. Rebecca Winpigler, will christen the vessel. I christen the Staff Sergeant Michael H. Olas. God bless this ship and all who sail on her. Forward, arch. 